Welcome to Narayshati Technologies. My name is Mahesh. I'm taking Java and Android classes training in Narayshati. So in my previous videos, I explained about uh, how to set up the Android environment, okay? What is XML layout file and how to, what are the steps to steps involved for creating an activity file? We discussed in the last video we discussed, okay? So let's take, I created an application, I created this. Let's take, uh, this is my requirement. I want to display this message. I want to display on the screen. Welcome to Narayshati. This message I want to display on the screen. This message I want to display on the screen. Welcome to Narayshati screen. Okay. We already created XML file, already created Java file, we created. I mean, we created a product we created. Now, my requirement is I want to test the application I want to test. So, how can you test the application? How can you test what? The application. If you want to test the application, if you want to test, there are two options are there. The two options are nothing but let us take the first one. If you have an Android device, if you have an Android device, how can you test the application? If you have an Android device, how to test the application? Second thing is nothing but if you do not have an Android device, if you have an Android device and if you do not have an Android device, let us take these are the two options. We, are create, we create application we created. I want to test the application I want to test. Let us take the first option. If you have an Android device because I recommend to install the application in the phone. Okay. Let us take I have an Android phone. I have Android phone. Okay. I want to test the app. I want to test in my phone. I want to test the app. So, how can you test the application? So, if you want to test the application, the real device, if you want to test the first thing, uh, we had to configure few things we had to configure in the device. Okay. Let us see what are the what are the configurations we have to do it in the device. We are discussing this one we are discussing now. If you have an Android device, how to test the application? It is simple. If you have an Android device, go to settings. In settings, you can find an option called developer options you can find. In settings, you can find an option called what? In settings, you can find an option called developer options you can find. In these developer options, you can find the option called USB debugging. We had to enable this USB debugging option we had to enable in the developer options. Go to settings. In settings, you can find the option called developer options. In developer options, you can find USB debugging. But in the majority of the devices, directly you will not find this USB debugging option you will not find in the majority of the devices. Then where you can find this USB, how to enable these developer options? If you want to enable these developer options, if you want to enable, go to settings. In settings, you can find an option called about phone. Meaning I am telling you, if you do not find the developer options, how to enable these developer options, I am telling now. In settings, you can find the option called about phone option you can find. In this about phone, in this about phone, you can find the option called build number. You can find the option called what? Build number option you can find. In this build number, tap on the screen. Meaning on top of this build number, on top of this build number, uh, tap 3-4 times. Just 3-4 times click on, click on 3-4 times, you will get this developer options you will get. So, tap on 3-4 times, you are going to get what? The developer options you can find. If you tap on the screen 3-4 times, you are going to get what? This developer options you will find. If you tap on the screen for 3-4 times, you are going to get what? This developer options, op developer options screen you will get. First check in the device directly this USB debugging option, I mean this developer options are, option is available or not. If it is available, directly enable the USB debugging. If you do not find these developer options uh, options in your phone, first go to settings, about phone, build number, tap on the screen 3-4 times build number, then at that time the developer options is going to be enabled. After enabling these developer options and here you can find what USB debugging option you can find. Okay, Next. Okay. I already enable in my phone, in my phone, I enable these developer options and USB debugging option I enable in my phone. And connect your phone with USB. After enabling this USB debugging, just I am connecting my phone, I am connecting with USB. Just I connected my phone, I connected with USB, I connected and click on this run button. We created this app we created, right? Here, you can find the run option, you can find here, run the application. If you select this run app, if you select, if you select the run app, if you select, it is going to show you, it is going to show you the connected devices and the virtual devices. So, I connected my phone, I connected with USB cable, I connected my phone. See now here, 
uh, you got an option we got here connected devices and the virtual devices. See then the connected devices just I connected a Samsung device I connected my phone. I set the Samsung device I selected and click on this OK button. It is going to install the application. It is going to install in the phone it will install. It is loading here it is processing. Once this processing is done it is going to install the application in the phone it will install the application. So, it is loading the application still. Okay. So, once this loading is done then it is going to install the application it will install in the phone it will install. Okay. So, first it will take some time to load. Uh, I am using a software called Visor is a software V Y S O R just to show my phone screen in the computer just to show my phone screen on the computer I am using a software called Visor is a software I am using. Okay. But this is the phone preview only. See the app is installed welcome to Naresh IT in the phone the app is installed welcome to Naresh IT. Okay. This is the first option this is what the first option if you want to test the application if you want to test after developing the application simply you can connect your phone you can connect you can connect your phone but before going to connect your phone make sure you have to enable this USB debugging option you have to enable in the phone. Enable this USB debugging option connect your phone directly you can install the application in your phone you can install the application. And personally I will recommend to use this mobile device because you know further we will discuss lot of concepts like email, call, SMS, notifications, location. So, these kind of functionalities we will discuss majority of the functionalities we cannot test in the virtual device you cannot test that is why if you have an android device you know I will strongly recommend to connect your phone and directly test the application your phone directly test the application. Okay. This is one option still if you face any issue while connecting the device you know some devices even after connecting connecting this USB debugging and after connect your phone with USB with the USB cable to your computer still some people unable to find the device then at that time use a software called any one of the mobile android pc suit. There are some android pc suit softwares are available okay install any one of the android pc suit software. So, once if you install the android pc suit if the device is having any issues while it is taking the drivers basically the android studio once if you connect the device automatically will install the drivers it will install for that particular mobile device. If it is unable to find the device it is unable to download the drivers then Externally, use any one of the Android PC suit software like Mobile Go is one thing, Mobile Go, uh, Snappy, Adroid. So, these are some of the Android PC suit applications. These are what? Some of the Android PC suit applications. So, install any one of the Android PC suit. Install what? Any one of the Android PC suit. So, once if you install any one of the Android PC suit software, the advantage is nothing but once if you connect the device automatically the device is going to take the drivers it will take automatically okay. This is the first option if you do not have a and if you if you have a android device so directly you can connect your phone and you can install the app in your phone you can install this is the first option. Second thing is nothing but if you do not have a android device let us take I removed my, my phone I removed the USB connection I removed the computer let us take imagine we do not have an android device then how to test the application in the and how to test our android application. Let us say we created project we created this is what the project we created we want to test the application we want to test. So, how can we test the application we do not have an android device imagine. So, if you do not have an android device if you want to test the application if you want to test. So, android SDK android SDK is providing a tool called android virtual device the name itself is describing AVD uh, in short will termed as AVD android virtual device the name itself is describing a virtual android device you can create if you do not have an android device for testing purpose we can create a virtual device you can test by using AVD manager tool. If you want to find this AVD manager tool just go to this tools option you can find option called tools in tools you can find option called android is option in tools you can find option called what android is option in this android you can find an option called android device monitor option you can find here tools android in android you can find an option called what android device monitor is a option just click on this android device monitor okay by using this avd monitor avd avd monitor sorry it is not android device monitor android virtual device avd manager it is not avd uh, android device monitor it is a avd manager in tools android you can find option called what avd manager is the option 
what is the option name? AVD manager. Click on this AVD manager. Click on AVD manager. Once if you select this AVD manager option, you will get the available virtual devices you will get. Already in, in my system, I already configured a virtual device already configured. First I will remove this one and we will see how to create a, a new virtual device, we will we'll see how to create a virtual device. So once if you select this AVD manager option, once if you select this AVD manager option, we will get this window we will get. Once if you select this AVD manager, we will get this window we will get. Okay? If you want to create the virtual device, if you want to create, you can choose an option called create virtual device. You can choose the option called what? Create virtual device. Click on this create virtual device and here you can find all the list of available devices and the resolutions. See here Nexus S, Android, it is a 4.0 is a version, 4.0 is a version, 480 by 800 is a screen resolution. Okay, Nexus 6, so the resolution 1440 by 2560, you will find all the list of available devices and the resolutions, devices and the resolutions. Okay. You can take any resolution you can take. I am selecting here Nexus, yes I am selecting the 4.0 is the size, screen size and the resolution is 480 by 800 is the screen resolution. Okay. Click on this next. Do not take very high resolution because when you take a high resolution it is going to become a tablet not a mobile phone. right? So I am selecting this 480 by 800 resolution I am selecting so which will look like a mobile phone, a mobile, re mobile phone resolution. Click on this next. And here you can find a, you can find the available uh, virtual device, available operating systems you can find here for this virtual device. In my system, the Android Lollipop version is available, API level 25, 22, Android version 5.1 is a version. In my system, Lollipop version is available for creating this virtual device. Okay, so if it if it is not available, you can find the option to install that version. Okay. Uh, you don't worry about this. If you if you don't find here, you can find the option to install that particular Android OS version. Okay. Click on this next. Then after that, if you want, you can give a name for your virtual device. You can give a name. Okay. And which resolution you want to display? In which orientation you want to display? That a portrait or a landscape you want to display? Let's choose an option here. I want to display in a portrait format. I want to display. I choose an option called portrait. Next, what is the virtual device name? Let us configure the virtual device name. We will configure here AVD name. I am configuring the AVD name as, let us take I configured Android. Videos is a virtual device name I configured. Just I configured the device name as Android videos. You can give any name you can specify if you want. Click on this finish button. So once if you select the finish button, it is going to create a virtual device it will create here. Now the virtual device is created. Okay. After creating this virtual device, after creating this virtual device, you can install the application you can install directly, you can select this run button you can select. Once if you select the run button, now there is no any connected devices because now we have not connected any real device we have not connected. Okay. So virtual device is available, available virtual devices, this Android videos is a virtual device. Let us select this device. It is going to start that virtual device it will start and it will install the application in that virtual device it will install the application. Let us see here. We created what? A virtual Android device we created and it is going to install the application in this virtual device it will install the application it will install. The name itself is describing right a virtual device meaning we can create a dummy Android device, we can create a dummy Android device we can create by using this AVD manager tool. This is a virtual Android device. Now it started just. So it's it's loading the app still. Okay, the app is installed in the virtual device. The app is installed. Welcome to Nareshite. Okay, so these are the two options are available. Uh, see in the home home screen, the menu screen, you can find our application icon. You can find here. This is what the project we created called Hello NIT is a project we created. Okay, this is how to test the application. There are two options are there. Directly you can connect your phone with your computer and you can run the application. And if you do not have an Android device, we can create a virtual device you can create by using a tool called AVD manager tool. Okay? But personally, I will recommend to install the application in the phone because the lot of functionalities you cannot test in the virtual device you cannot test. Okay? So this is about how to test the application. Okay? Uh, thank you and in my next video, I will explain you about, we will discuss about our first Android application we will discuss in the next video. Thank you.